One way to make granny squares is to change the color so that it goes around like a spiral. So if you follow one or any of the colors here, it goes round like that. And uh, an advantage with this is that you don't get many ends of yarn to weave in at the end. Uh, you only get them in the beginning and at the end. Uh, I find that having three colors works best. This here one also has three colors. Uh, two colors doesn't work that well because then the colors sort of get mixed. Uh, but if you want a mix of two colors, this is a good way to do it. Uh, because again, you only get the ends in the beginning and at the end. This one has four colors. I'm going to use it as a coaster. I'm making one in three colors that are clearly different from each other. So it's easy to see how the colors go. I'm starting off like any granny square, twisting the yarn into a loop and chaining six. There. Then I join it first stitch with a slip stitch. And normally I tighten it a bit. Then again, just like any granny square, I chain three no, <laughs> to form the first treble. I'm using the British terms. It's double crochet in American terms. So another treble. Then I chain two for the corner. Uh, some people chain three, it doesn't make any difference. And some people also make, make groups of four trebles. So I have three colors and four groups of trebles for the four sides of the square. So I decided to make the first two in the same color. And then again I chain two for the corner. So until now it is exactly like any granny square. Now I'll take the next color, can be this yellow one, um, and I pull it through like that. And normally in the beginning um, I pull both of the yarn ends through the first loop. That way it stays tighter and then I let that go and uh, another two chain to start the next group and then I pull it through that different color there and then through two trebles in this color and I leave the ends of the yarn inside so I will have less to finish off. So again just like any granny square and I chain two again for the corner and then I take the third color and start it just like the previous one I double the, th the yarn and pull it through here first through using both strands then one and the second one goes through the previous color and then two more trebles and chain two for the last corner 
and uh, attach it to the start of the row with a slip stitch which means just pulling it through like that. So here is my first row. There are different ways of going from one row to the next in granny squares but with this way of using the colors you really need to do it the way we are going to do it now and that is that you do the corner first. I'm going to chain three so um, I'm not changing the colors now. You only change the color when you are at the spot where the yarn from the previous row is waiting. So here, it's not here. So I'm chain three. And then I make the next two trebles in here in the corner sort of behind the spot where I already was here and then I go to the next corner and chain one in between and here three trebles chain two for the corner and into the same corner the next three trebles there and then I go again to the next corner chain one and now uh, three trebles Okay, and now I am in a place here where I can see the yarn from the previous row waiting for me. So I'm going to use it. Um, first, I chain two for the corner. And then I just leave that yarn hanging there and take the next, take this one that was ready there and start from the corner, chain three. and uh, on the third one pull it through the previous chain and then two there so now I have changed the color and then I continue until I see the next color again which is straight away in the next corner so I only need to do one set of um, trebles here in that corner again chain two and then pick up the wool from the previous row so again one two three and the third one through like this and this really is the way you just continue then but I keep going for a while here and show it so now that corner's done and um, now I'm coming to the end of the second row chain two and again a slip stitch to the start of the row the way this works you don't actually ever change color at the spot where you go from one row to the next so now I do the same as I did in the previous start of the row. I chain three and uh, go to the corner behind behind the stitch 
and make the three trebles there. And then I continue just like just the same until I come here. And then again I'll pick up the next one. If you are familiar with granny squares, you know that there is now a set of trebles in the middle of one of the sides as well. So three there. So now I'll continue here. So here I am, ready to pick up the yarn from the previous row again. Leave this and uh, take up this one. Chain three with the third one through. And then just keep going. And because I have three different colors and there's of course four sides, there are differences in how long you use one yarn. So now I only have this bit and then I'll change it again there. So I made this bit and now I'm going to pick up the blue just the same way. And when I get to the end of this row, I'll again continue with the blue. So here I am, slip stitch, chain three, and two trebles into the same corner. And now there's a longer way to go because the next change of color is only here. So I'll continue with this now just the same way and then I'll show you when it's much bigger. Granny squares can be any size but the spiral shows better when you have it bigger. Okay, here's the finished one. I finished after one, two, three, four, five, six rows.